As a kid, I always looked forward to going to upstate New York to visit my grandparents. In fact, this is where I first found my love for cooking. My fondest memory was baking little apple pies with my Nana. Those little apple pies were actually apple turnovers, and every time I have one, I always think about my Nana. To get started, I'm gonna peel about four to five Granny Smith apples. We're using Granny Smith apples because they have a tart, apple-y flavor. As a kid, one of my favorite parts of making these apple turnovers was being able to sample the apples before they got into the turnovers. It was kind of like I was doing a little quality control. Now we're gonna shred the apples. We're looking for about three cups of shredded apple. Um, we're using the large holes in the box grater. You're probably asking yourself, can I use a food processor? The answer is yes. But we like the box grater because the shreds will be a lot finer and they're gonna break down better in the apple turnover. Plus, it's less cleanup when using the box grater over the food processor. This apple smells really good right now. So now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt to the mixture. What this is gonna do is it's gonna season the apples and it's gonna draw out moisture. There's nothing worse than a soggy apple turnover. I'm gonna set these aside, clean up, and then roll out my puff pastry. To save time, I'm using store-bought puff pastry. To start, I'm gonna flour my work surface. Just gonna wipe off some of the excess flour that it comes with. This particular puff pastry is about nine and a half by nine inches. I need to roll it out to an even 10 inch square. Now it doesn't need to be exact. Now once you've gotten two 10 inch squares, you wanna cut each one into four five inch squares. Now I'm using one of my favorite kitchen items, the bench scraper. It's good for cutting the dough without dulling your knife. My apple filling is ready. Now what I wanna do is squeeze out a third of a cup of liquid. You don't wanna go over a third of a cup because when the apples cook, they're gonna break down too much. So I'm gonna place the apples over a fine mesh strainer and squeeze out just a third of a cup of liquid. Now I'm gonna add some apple butter to the shredded apple mixture. It's gonna add some warm spices to the filling. Just wanna mix it in, make sure all the shreds are coated. The filling looks great. Now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of the filling to the center of each puff pastry dough. If you add too little, you're gonna have sad apple turnovers. And if you add too much, they're just gonna leak out the sides. I'm on my last one. Now it's okay if you have a little extra filling left in the bowl, don't worry about that. Because again, you don't wanna fill these up too much. So now we're gonna use that reserved apple juice to close the turnovers. So I'm just gonna brush a little of the liquid on two of the sides of the dough, and then just fold it over making a triangle and using my hand to cup the filling so that it doesn't squeeze out. You just wanna make sure when you're closing these, you do cup your hand over the filling so that it doesn't shift, it stays in the middle. So these look great. Now I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna crimp the edges to make sure that they stay sealed. Last thing you want is these things to pop open. Now that I've sealed the edges, I'm gonna take a paring knife and cut two one inch slits on the top. These are gonna vent the turnovers so that the steam can come out. So again, they don't pop open. Now right now the dough is very soft. So what I'm gonna do is add them to a sheet tray and freeze them for about 20 minutes to firm them up. You don't wanna skip this step because they won't hold their shape. So I'm using my favorite kitchen tool again, and I'm just gonna add these to the sheet tray. And now they're ready to go in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then after that, they'll be ready to go in the oven. It's been 20 minutes. The turnovers was ready to be brushed with a little bit more apple juice. I'm just brushing enough to coat the top so that the cinnamon sugar sticks. And a mixture of two tablespoons of sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So the cinnamon sugar should just add a nice little crispy layer at the top. The sugar is going to cause the apple turnover top to brown up nicely and have a little crunch to it. Now they're ready to go into a 400 degree oven on the middle rack for about 22 to 24 minutes. So now I'm gonna transfer the apple turnovers to the wire rack, let them cool for about 10 minutes. One, I wanna let some air get underneath them so the bottom crisps up and you don't wanna bite into a piping hot apple turnover because you're gonna get burned. I'm gonna to try to be patient and wait the full 10 minutes before I eat one of these. It's not gonna be easy. I can't wait to try one of these. My favorite way to eat it is with a scoop of ice cream, but they're also great in the morning with a cup of coffee. The top's nice and crisp. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. Nana would be proud. This season, if you find yourself picking apples and not know what to do with them, apple turnovers.